it is moments like this that remind me about why I do my landscape photography, why I get up early in the morning to climb up hills in the freezing cold. For views like that, of that mountain, that sun rising across that golden landscape, it does not get much better than this. Good morning and welcome to a very special location. Yes, this morning I'm here at Glencoe in Scotland. One of Scotland's finest locations. We've got mountains, we've got rivers. There's just so much to photograph. So this morning in this video, I'm gonna be taking pictures of that mountain there behind me, plus maybe some of the surrounding landscape. Just waiting for the sun to rise behind me, get some nice light in that landscape. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about winter clothing, especially layers. But first thing is first, let's do photography. So, and excuse me for the wobbly camera work. I've only got the energy to carry one tripod up this hill to capture pictures of that hill. And the sun has just peaked up above the horizon, so I'm gonna to have to work really fast. So that mountain there behind me, it's the most famous, probably one of the most famous mountains in Glencoe, it's Bucoletive Moor. I've got the sun rising over there, and it's just kissing the side of the mountain. So that's gonna be my first competition, relatively simple. Got my Nikon Z7 there, all ready to go. So I better start taking some pictures. The colors, the colors in Glencoe at this time of year, this is, this is uh, sort of mid-October. The colors are just fantastic. I will show you a bit more of it, but I really need to prioritize in that photography. So for my first shot, let me quickly describe my composition. I've got the mountain of a swing around here, Bukalet of Moor, glorious, majestic mountain. I've got the wide angle lens on the Nikon Z7. It's about 20, 22 millimeters at the moment. And that's just given me the river that runs along the base of the mountain there. And that runs along the bottom of the frame there. I've got it coming out the, the bottom left hand corner. And then the mountain is a center subject there. But that glorious color, that golden brown color that's on the hills at the moment, is uh, all catching the light and you've got the mountain. There's not a cloud in the sky, but that doesn't matter. It was actually forecast for fog this morning, but there's been absolutely nothing. So I've pretty well got clear blue skies. So I'm not gonna include too much of the sky, there's no point, but the mountain, the mountain is the centerpiece of this. So I'm gonna take that picture and then I spotted another composition looking down uh, the glen a bit further. So yeah, let's grab that one. Oh, it's, it's times like this, you just live to be an outdoor photographer. It's moments like this that remind me about why I do my landscape photography, why I get up early in the morning to climb up hills in the freezing cold. For views like that, of that mountain, that sun rising across that golden landscape, it does not get much better than this. So I've just come down a little bit from where I was standing looking at the mountain to get a view down the glen. The light, the light is glorious. It's just catching all those golden colors. I know I keep saying it, but it just looks fantastic. And it's just catching a little woodland down there as well. And I've got the river going up there. So I think it makes for a nice composition. I don't think it's as nice as that one. I might need to do, um, maybe have work out a couple of other different compositions, but just the light is glorious. It's just a shame for this particular viewpoint. It's not a little bit more uh, cloud in the sky. I tell you what, there's no other place I'd rather be. Have I mentioned how glorious that viewpoint is? I think it's because it's this particular time of year, like I say, when all the ground goes these golden colours. It's just, just fabulous when the light catches it. I had a pretty outstanding morning of photography. I mean, I know that viewpoint, it's quite well shot. I probably wouldn't have got anything truly unique, but I just love coming up here and I wanted to get my own pictures. So, you know, that makes me happy and that's what photography should be all about. Actually, one of the reasons I did come up here this morning was, it was forecast for a lot of fog and I was kind of fingers crossed, will I get a temperature inversion? Will I be able to get above the clouds? Nothing, no clouds here at all, there's a few 
appearing in the sky now, but there was no fog and it was forecast for 100% fog. So yeah, that's uh, the Scottish weather for you. But that didn't distract from the enjoyment that I got from this morning's photography. But now that I've got the photography bit out of the way, I want to talk to you about layers, but not Photoshop layers. I think I said somewhere at the start of this video, it's mid-October here. So while it's not officially winter yet, there is a definite chill in the air. It's definitely time to dust off the old winter gear because you're gonna need it when you come out to do photography, especially up in locations like Glencoe, where it can get quite nippy. And I learned a long time ago that being cold, wet, just makes you miserable, ruins your photography, ruins your creativity. It's just no fun at all. So from that point, I always, I always decided that I'd invest in good quality outdoor gear. Now, outdoor gear might not be the thing that you immediately think of as important to a photographer, but if you're an outdoor photographer, a landscape photographer, being warm and dry is really important. Now, Valorette. So Valorette make photography gloves like these. These are my favorite pair. These are the, the mitts, so they've got an inner liner and they've got the mitt that goes over the top and you can take them off. It's, it's very versatile. I've done a video review of it. Um, I'll include a link in the normal places if you want to check that out. But they reached out to me a little while ago and said, look, we're launching a set of base layers. Would you be interested in taking a look? I thought I need new base layers for the winter. So I said, yes. So just before I share my thoughts about these base layers, I will let you know, obviously Valorette did send me these base layers free of charge. They have not asked me to say anything in this video. They've not paid me to do this video. So I will share my genuine thoughts. I mean, I'm not a model. I'm not a clothes enthusiast as such. So I'll just give you kind of my general thoughts. I'll tell you a little bit about the sort of specifications of them and uh, tell you about how I've been getting on them with them since I've been in, in this glorious country of Scotland. Let me tell you about the two items I've got. I've got the long sleeve tee and I've got the zip jersey. So both are made of a super soft, uh, non-itchy material. I can testify that they feel actually really good against the skin. A couple of interesting features that this is where you might find that they differ from the kind of base layers that you might normally get. This is where the photography design comes into them. So both of them actually have battery pockets. And the idea of that is you keep your batteries close to your body and the heat stops them dying in the winter cold as much. Both of them have a microfiber cloth uh, on the inside, which is I'm finding, I have to say, finding really handy. You just turn the inside out and you can give the front of your lens a little clean. Uh, they're both made of antibacterial and odor resistant material. So, you know, you always like to smell good when you're out in the hills. They've both got thermal regulating properties. So they'll keep you warm when it's cold and cool when it's hot. And they've got moisture wicking as well. So that should mean that the moisture is taken away uh, from your skin as quickly as possible. They're fast drying and breathable. Again, I can testify to that. And they're made of a nice four way stretch material. I'm wearing a large today uh, and I find them, you know, they've got a nice bit of length to them and the arms are reasonably long as well. So when you move about, things aren't, you know, disappearing up your arms or you're getting exposed. So they're, they're pretty comfortable. I do hope you enjoyed my best model posies there. Not, not exactly something I do naturally, but hopefully got the, the message across and give you an idea about these layers. I really like them. I have to say in terms of material, they feel really nice. They've got a good, fit as well they're, they're not too big like I say I'm a, I'm a large um, but they still give you plenty of movement and the handy features that I mentioned about the battery pocket and the, the lens cloth so overall yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed for, for a first out and into the into outside of gloves and into base layers they've, they've given us some really good thought and I have been using them um, I've actually got the, the, the sort of long sleeve tee underneath here I had that and then I just had my jacket on for the march up the mountain. That was perfectly warm enough. And then when I stopped to take pictures, I whipped on the, the old zip jersey like that, excuse my mic, um, and then put the jacket back on. And there was toasty as and all the moisture went away. So yeah, pretty happy. So if you do actually want to get some of these, I'll include a link uh, in the video description below. As you can see, I've put my jacket on. After all, I'm not an utter lunatic. I'm standing on top of a mountain in October in Scotland. <laughs> the sun might be out. It doesn't mean I want to be wandering around, around in a base layer. So yeah, jacket back on. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've decided to come a little bit around to give you a slightly different viewpoint. Hope you aren't getting bored of that viewpoint. I'll never get bored of that viewpoint. So, you know, hopefully I'll come back and we'll do a, another video. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get that temperature version one day. Never know, fingers crossed. But I'm going to head back down now. Uh, I'm actually going to hopefully climb another mountain shortly. Maybe do another video. So 
If you have enjoyed this one and you would like to see more from myself and you might want to see that video that I'm going to make shortly, click on that subscribe button, give this video a like, leave me a comment. Love reading comments, so please do take the time to, to leave me a comment. And of course, share the video as well. Um, and all the information about all the base layers and uh, are all in the video description, plus a link to my website. So if you want to know all the settings for all the pictures that I took as well, what lenses I was using, they're all on my blog. I'll include a link for my website below as well. And if you've got a bit more time, I'll pop up some of the playlists in the corner of the screen so you can watch another one of my videos. But thank you so much for joining me. I have had the best morning, I have to say. It's been absolutely brilliant. And I thank you for coming along with me. And I'll see you in the next one.